taking him, using him as an example as an artist then, it just show you that LD obviously has a good team behind him or he has set OGs, people that believe in him. Nigga, I am a real American monster, did it without a sponsor. Out of my pocket with topics to lead to profit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Right, I'll be real right. for a minute. You know, they, I don't know what kind of list they got going with these guys, man, but their numbers is coming like that, man. And it's really sad. You know, I hate to see it. I, I look at LD. This is one of my, you know, I listen to his music so much. Dopest music that I hear, you know, from, from our streets, in my perspective of what we, you know, it's therapeutic. Praying for a change to my situation. I've been going through a lot. It's a different kind of vibe to relationships when they think you got it. You know, yeah. thank you. Um, but the thing is, man, I just look at the way they, the numbers keep drilling down with all the artists, man. What do you what do you think about that? Well, um, it's good you asked that question because taking him, using him as an example as an artist then, it just shows you that LD obviously has a good team behind him or he has set OGs, people that believe in him. Nigga, I am a real American monster, did it without a spot. Out of my pocket with topics that led to profit. Not, oh, this nigga making money and they're just users and they yes men. Cause that means he could tell niggas anything. I'm I'm quite sure he got niggas, hey nigga, hey, stand down, you fucking up. Cause if you fuck up, you fuck it up for the rest of us, all of us, and we believe in you. That's what these young dudes, I was just talking about this to Big Ace, my homie Ace, on our way over here. This is what the game is missing because they took it away from the game. It was in the game. They took it away from these youngsters. They don't have what the 90s had. They don't have real dudes behind them that's solid. That's going to tell you, hey, man, you fucking up. No, they got all the little homies, niggas out the hood, off the block yes, with you. Yes, man. Hey, come here. You, 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 come on, I'm going to take you with yeah. me because I can give you a couple hundred dollars a month and yeah. you're going to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody... You, you can't see what's going on in, in, in that structure because there ain't no structure behind it. When you got structure, you move a certain way. He move a certain way, and he know that. He know better. He know not to put himself in certain situations on a regular because of what the fuck is going on already. He's smart enough and wise enough to see that as an artist. Well, if I'm going to be somewhere, and these are my folks, like, okay, like he at Boss Talk right now, right, for prime example, doing this thing at Boss Talk. But now it's a chicken stand down the street. They know when he leave Boss Talk, he go there every week, huh. five times a day. You know what you just did? You publicized to the people as a rich nigga. This is why I hang out every week. So the wolves, man, the jealousy, the envy, the hatred, they going to lurk, bro, and they going to do their homework. If they don't, they dummies. Because if I was a nigga in the street of wolf, guess what? That's who I'm going to get. I'm going to get the prey. I'm going to get the nigga who's slipping. Oh, that rich nigga down here and he ain't doing nothing for us? Do my homework. Okay, that nigga spends three days a week down here, y'all. We smashed on that nigga so when he come down here next month. He guaranteed to be here on this particular day. And this is what these dudes are doing, bro. Man, sad, so, man. so cats gotta understand as youngsters getting out of this. Listen to me, y'all out there, TV land, homie. You a rapper, singer, dancer, actor, model, slash ex stripper, which a lot of y'all are venom. Y'all y'all got a lot to do with the game that's fucked up right now. Cause y'all misguided and misconstrued, didn't have fathers at pimps, molested the whole nine, so it's bigger than y'all. But however, man, listen, man, you youngsters out there, man, when you get out of this shit, that's the whole purpose. When you leave the block, it don't make you no hard nigga, no real nigga, because you got 100000 you worth 200000 and you hanging around these niggas, and they broke. But they your buddies you grew up with. Them ain't the same people you know more and more, nigga. I hate to bust your bubble. Unless they got 100000 in their pocket with you, them ain't the same people. Feel me? So a lot of cats have to really swallow the pill and understand that change of venue. When you make a, a change in your life for success, homie, and you're trying to do other shit, everybody ain't going to take that ride. Everybody can't go. So if they can't ride with you and go, they're going to be mad and hate and envy and don't even know why they is. It's because cause they're not in that position. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Already. You know what I mean? You yeah. follow me? So they're not in that position. So it's like a lot of these young cats, man, you got to move a certain way and you got to take this internet IG killing shit as examples, bro. It ain't no game no more. This shit is far fetched beyond y'all control. It's something y'all wouldn't even understand. I ain't going to hit y'all with right now. That's why our big ace is going to hit the <clears throat> airwaves with this shit, man, and let niggas know, man. But you young dudes need to realize, homie, having security, Having safety because it's around you is the thing to fucking do. Don't let nobody tell you differently. You fuck your jury. Fuck all that fake shit. 
Spend your money protecting yourself so you can continue your ladder and achieve your goals and that. succeed. Yeah. And I guarantee you, you'll see the shit on a whole different way, man, different life, man. Yeah. You, you ain't gonna live long out here running around with the homies because them niggas ain't professionals. So you gotta they move not different, professional right? Suitors. You, you got, have to. You have to. When you get a certain, you have to, on a bro. certain level, like some of the guys that have passed, you know, here recently, you would have thought that they would have been, they, you get too comfortable. Because in your in your neighborhood or wherever, listen, if, you, if you get too comfortable, man, listen, and, man, and, and, and just go to go, show you, just go to show you. My one of my cats, he got sick last week when I was leaving out. But I have two dudes that work for me. This my my personal arm gear security, and they arm personally. Feel me? And if they on at me, I'm on. So this is why dummies only understand the game of life. And it's like, why niggas are so naive and dumb? So I heard a couple of young kids had nerd to question me because I'm fresh out of a flight. Then me and Spliff connect. We I got Spliff doing a vlog. We live in the Knicks of I got one of my arm niggas with me. But you don't know, this ain't my homeboy. This ain't no nigga off the block. This a military militant right here. And the same way I would go, he going. And he gonna make sure ain't What's nothing that? going on with Big Cap. Because I'm a thinker. Yeah, I'm in my hood. But I ain't just in my hood. I move around LA. I move, period. You think I give a fuck because I'm in my hood? One of these young, stupid young John motherfuckers said, man, that nigga killed my daddy or nigga shot my uncle back in the day. And right. walk right up now and right. have some heart and say, ah! Yeah. Because it fucking happens. See, I'm smart enough to that. know this. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.